This is 28 layers of Kevlar soft body armor material. We're going to test it with a 124 grain 9 millimeter full metal jacket bullet so that people can see that it really is Kevlar. Point blank. It took a little bit to retrieve the bullet out of the Kevlar as it did pass through two layers. It's a 124 grain full metal jacket. You can see it flattened it out pretty well. So, you know, this is Kevlar. Now we're going to uh, test Queen's Bishop, Dead Metal Knife Works Queen Bishop, serial number 118. I don't know if you can zoom in to see the number. But I will. Ryan, this is yours. Ryan. There's 28 layers here, and there's 28 layers here. This has been penetrated a few times, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to a corner where there's no penetration. This one has only been penetrated once, and we're going to an area that hasn't been penetrated. Now keep in mind that a 9mm bullet only went through two layers of the Kevlar. The, the Dead Metal Knife Works, Queen's Bishop. This isn't very... I'm not stabbing very hard. <laughs> it goes all the way through it. That makes me laugh every time I do that. Because the only thing that stopped that knife from going all the way to the hilt is pulling it out of the palm tree at the bottom. So, I hope that gives you a good idea. By the way, 56 layers of uh, Kevlar is 8 layers more than there is on the front and back panel of a police 3A body armor and uh, pretty deadly knife from Dead Metal Knife Works here in Escondido, California. Sharky says bye.